Hey, my name is Sheree, and welcome to my fashion and style channel. Today we're going to look at the best and worst looks from New York's Fashion Week Fall Winter 2024. <laughs> So we've already looked at the best and worst looks from Copenhagen's Fashion Week. If you're interested in checking that video out, I will put it up in the cards above. Copenhagen's Fashion Week was okay, but I am expecting New York to serve, okay? This is my city, so I want all the looks to be the best. <laughs> Let's hope that New York City gives us all the vibes. Let's get started. <laughs> So this first outfit is very wearable, very nice, very simple. She has on a shirt, a button-up shirt. The collar seems to be a little bit dramatic, right? She also has a shirt dress over it. It has a cute little pocket. She has on these snakeskin boots. I feel like I would wear this outfit, you know? It's like a work outfit. I like the idea of the dress having short sleeves and then she has the long sleeve shirt underneath so it makes it a little bit different. It's cute. I think this is a cute outfit. What do you think? Now this is an outfit. Let me tell you something. The girls that show up to New York City's Fashion Week, they show all the way up, okay? And they come dressed just like this, okay? <laughs> She has on her blazer style tuxedo coat. She has on a white blazer. She seems to have a lot of bags, right? She has the Chanel crossbody, but then she also has the YSL, the, um, the lunchbox bag. It seems like she has on a beautiful maxi skirt. I love maxi skirts, tuxedo shoes, and she has on a pair of gloves. I feel like gloves are an accessory that people are really going to hone in on in the near future. So I'm happy to see that she just threw in that pop of pattern with the glove. That is really, really cute. This is a vest, in my opinion. Okay, so we have gloves again. Like I said, gloves seem to be uh, an accessory that we will be wearing. Not just any type of glove, right? Fashion gloves, long gloves. Like you're really going to wear them not with a coat, right? Because you want to be warm, but you're wearing them more so for styling purposes. So she is also wearing like a maxi share type of dress. And it's it's nice. I, I wouldn't say it's a best dress outfit, but um, it's okay, it's nice. I like the sheer bottom of the dress. I don't really care for the pattern of the dress, but it's cute. She looks good in it. Let's move on. Oh, wow, the neon colors. Ooh, I'm kind of here for this. Wow. Do you see all these colors? I love when people wear colors, just vibrant, beautiful colors, because we're so used to black, white, beige. And don't get me wrong, I love a neutral color outfit. It's what I would typically wear on a day-to-day basis, but when I do see colorful outfits, it really does inspire me to want to play around with more colorful outfits. And he has on a beautiful, colorful tracksuit. I love the oversized lavender colored bag to match the shoes. The shoes look like they're a rubbery type of material similar to Crocs. I, I like them, you know, it just all goes well together. And I also see by zooming in, I can see that the shoes and there's um, either a pair of gloves or an undershirt that is made out of the same material. So that's very interesting. This is an interesting look, all right? Would you wear this on the street? I think I would. It's cute, I like it. With a bucket hat? This is cute. <laughs> Ooh, okay girl. Let's just say that the two-piece sets are never going to leave, all right? They're always gonna be here. Why? Because they're so easy to wear. She's wearing a two-piece suit set. Hers is obviously cropped and mini. The blazer is super cropped and the skirt is a mini skirt. I love the polka dot tights. I love the exaggerated Mary Jane pump. I love the way her hair looks. It's just a very fun look. She has a mini bag. Even the buttons on the suit are super cute. It's just it's just fun, right? The shoulders are very structured, very strong. It's cute. Well, this is an everyday look, 
you know, she can work as a teacher. She probably can work in my school. <laughs> There was a time when I used to wear dresses similar to this. I was really into the fit and flair look, especially working in a more professional setting. I didn't want to just wear like tight fitted clothing, so I always went for like the fit and flair because of my body shape. And this dress kind of reminds me of how I used to dress maybe five, six years ago. I would have on cute little dresses, some tights and boots, and that was the outfit for me. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> As we know, Fashion Week is going to bring some very interesting looks, right? You're gonna see things that you may never wear, but you're like, I would wear it, but it's interesting, it's fun, it makes me stare at it, and this is one of those looks. Now, the suit itself, the top and the maxi skirt, or just leather with the studs, amazing. I can actually see myself wearing the suit. I can, like I would wear this. Now, would I throw on that headpiece? That's a different story. But this was a fashion statement moment. Like they wanted something to really wow the audience. And I think they did a great job. New York is on a roll. Oh, wow. Okay, there's just too much going on here. <laughs> so I do like the maxi satin skirt. I think that's beautiful. It seems like she may have on a pair of flats or maybe a low pump, right? So the bottom half of her looks great. The coat, I'm not really feeling the feathers. I feel like that was a, a poor choice of fur. Why not a different type of fur? Why not just put fur on the collar? Why do we have fur coming all the way down the arm? I don't know. And it seems like it's that type of fur that's gonna like blow in the wind. So I'm not I'm not really a fan of her upper half, but the lower half is it's cute, it's simple, and you can wear a maxi satin skirt with literally anything. Oh my gosh. So this is a color that I saw a lot yellow like that bright yellow gold color this outfit is beautiful it is such a great cross between casual streetwear and that more dressy elegant woman type of look so that her upper half she's wearing this old school crop coat with the fur hood do you remember those jackets we used to wear them like it was kind of on the crop side it wasn't a bomber coat but I think at the time that's what we called them, like bomber type of coat. It had a hood on it. That's what this reminds me of so much. The inner lining fur is like an emerald green. That is so beautiful against this yellow. Now I don't know if it's a skirt that she's wearing or a dress, but it's satin, it's maxi, it's beautiful. Like I said, this yellow color I saw a few times on the runway and this dress is it's a cute dress, right? So I think we're going to see a lot of peplum and we're going to see a lot of, I don't know what this hem is called. It's almost like a um, like a balloon type of hem. It's not your normal, just regular stitched up bottom. It's almost like puffed out a little bit. So if you know what this hem is called, let me know down in the comment section. But I saw it a few times, even in the Copenhagen fashion shows, they, there were a lot of outfits with this type of hemline. But it's a maxi dress, it's really cute. They edged it up by throwing on some boots, some black leather boots. That was cute. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's nice. This is made well. Well, we have been loving the athleisure wear, right? So brands are really just trying to take their athletic clothing and turn it into something special. And that's what this brand did with this outfit here. They took their nice bodysuit. Is it a bodysuit or is it a swimsuit? I don't know. It has a nice turtleneck to it. Is the turtleneck made out of leather? or is it the same material as the rest of the bodysuit? I have no idea. I do like the sleeves. Are these called cap sleeves, I believe? They're not exactly short sleeves, but it's not a tank top either. They're kind of capped off. <laughs> she has on her cargo pants, so we know we can keep our cargos in our closet for a little while longer. She has on some statement gloves. Now I feel like I really need to go 
get some gloves. I think I got a comment from someone a while ago talking about like fashion gloves. So they were onto something before I even knew about it. <laughs> but yeah, she looks really good. This is adorable. I love this so much. Now, would I wear my whole midriff out? Probably not. I don't have her abs, but I do like the idea of having on like a crop blazer, suit set. I love the pants. The pants are gorgeous. If I could get the pants with an oversized matching blazer, I also really like her hair and I like the fact that she has on uh, metallic silver heels. We were doing well. I don't know what happened here. This is somebody's knit dress. They, they knitted it together. It seems as though they may have done it in the dark. She also has on over the knee sparkly blue boots. She herself is beautiful, but this outfit is not, it's not it. We're going to move on. Oh, wow. Okay, so leather on leather on leather. I love leather clothing because it's almost a texture for me, right? So instead of wearing your jeans or a sweatpants, leather is a different texture. So if you have on an all black outfit, you can have on leather pants, right? Maybe a lace top, maybe a, um, a twill blazer. And all that black is going to look good because it's interesting to look at. You have different textures that you are paying attention to. And in this case, I feel like they did a great job, right? The skirt has, well, is it a skirt or are they leggings? But it has some mesh detailing in the leg. There's also some mesh detailing in, uh, mesh cutouts in the bodysuit. The coat seems to have some type of hooks <laughs> by the waistline. I'm actually not a fan of the coat, but it's there and it is what it is. Her boots, I feel like they could have gone with something else, maybe with less leather, right? Maybe just a leather pump. That would have been really cute so that it shows a little bit more skin. This outfit is okay. What do you think about it? This is amazing. Look at the suit, the satin suit, the silver, the silvery gray color with that black button and they didn't stop there they do want like a black turtleneck on the knee i really hope that turtleneck is sheer if it's sheer or satin and then they do a feathery type of jacket or shawl over her with the leather gloves the black are they booties is it just a pump and maybe she has on some black tights this is breathtaking. Am I biased? Because I just love suits. It's beautiful. Now what in the Willy Wonka is going on here? It's a dress that has a sleeve that's wrapped around, but she's holding the fabric because if she wasn't holding it, it would unravel, right? She has these crazy looking uh, glasses on, sunglasses on. She has on blue shiny leggings and some fur toe heels. Okay, let's just go with no. We're gonna go with no. I don't like this at all. I, I don't hate the dress, honestly. I don't hate the leggings. And I really don't hate the shoes. I just hate it all together. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. She has on these skiing type of shades. She has on a black cat suit. The leather gloves are beautiful. I really like the leather gloves. Is it mesh or is it that crystal type of material? And I don't know. They cut it out and made it a dress with a sweetheart neckline. And then she has on these fur boots. There's a lot happening in this outfit. I don't know if it all goes well together, but let's just say there's a lot happening and we'll stop there. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's a trend that I really want to try out. I really want to wear the short shorts. This outfit, again, it's a two-piece set, and I'm kind of obsessed with two-piece sets. I love the jacket, and I love the short shorts. I want a pair of short shorts. Now, I cannot justify the prices of short shorts because sometimes they're a little pricey, and I think that's why I haven't really bit the bullet and went and purchased the pair, but 
I really do want to buy a pair. <laughs> Where would I wear it? I don't know. Now this outfit does have a lot of textures, right? She has on her snake skin two-piece set, but she has on lace tights. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the lace tights. I was gonna say I don't like the shoes, but if she did have on those lace tights and it was like all leg with the uh, straps going, the straps from the sandals going up her legs, I feel like that would have been really, really cute. But I think the, the lace is throwing me off. And I get it, people, everyone wants to experiment with different textures to make interesting outfits, but sometimes you just gotta look at things from afar and be like, yeah, no, that looks dumb. So I'm noticing with New York City's Fashion Week, there's a lot of great pieces, right? So with this outfit, I see a lot of pieces that I would wear. But why are they all on the same outfit is the question. The jacket is oversized. The leather skirt, beautiful leather skirt, but it just seems like there's way too much fabric. She has on this white button up shirt that seems like it could be an oversized shirt, too much fabric. And then you're gonna throw on these boots that also look like too much fabric. And it's also giving me skirt with pants vibes which I really don't like. We know she don't have on pants, but it looks like she do, and I don't like that. So yeah, each of these pieces on their own are beautiful pieces, and I would actually wear them, but they're all on this one person and it looks a mess. So those were the best and worst looks from New York Fashion Week Fall Winter 2024. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I had a great time making it. I've really been enjoying sitting down and critiquing these outfits. <laughs> if you would like to see another best and worst video, here it is. Check it out and I will see you in my next one.